these are the three particles are there. So uh, M1, M2, the length of the string five centimeter. Let, let me take this is M2 and let this be M1. It will be easy for us. All three particles, they are kept on a horizontal surface <laughs> in which the strings are straight and the, this middle one is projected with a speed. Now directly come to the question. Projected along the floor not not so how the weight will act weight will act perpendicular to the plane of paper not not vertically down please do understand the situation very clearly now find the tensile force in the threads when the end disc are about to collide means when both this m1 m2 oh this is m1 when the disc a and b when they're about to collide is asking what should be the tension in the string How to bring tension? No? He is asking something, an unwanted thing. No? <coughs> now, what all you know, try to do it. What all you know, try to do it. What, what, all, what all you know, try to do it first. I'll give time, just think on it. It's a very good problem. Already we discussed some similar ideas in the laws of motion. Try to recollect. A force F is applied tangentially, it is brought, then find the tension. Or even in work, then also I, dis I discussed one problem. At the midpoint, it is being pulled. Some pathfinder, no? all that. Okay, let's do one thing. So when I give velocity u, what actually happens to the string? No? Somewhere. <coughs> year a year, it will be. The M2 will continue to move in that straight path, no? the M2 will try to will continue to move in the straight path and the string 
will take shape like this. So this is M1. This M1. How the how the tension tension will be acting in this direction. So here, what are the components of velocity? V1, y, v1x. Now, why v1x will come into picture? What makes the particles A and B to acquire that speed? Because of tension, no? Because of tension, and this will continue to move with the velocity, say v. And when they're about to collide, when they're about to collide, I'll I'll extend the diagram. These are the particles. Now, what should happen to when they're about to collide? What should be the speed of? And they're connected by a string, no? So what do you expect the speed? All will have same common velocity along this direction. B y, B y, and it will be v x. This will be v x. This is M two. This is M one. At least I think uh, till here everyone can do it. So can we apply conservation of linear momentum? Look at the net force acting on system along along y axis. Along x axis is zero. No net force acting on system along x axis is zero. So therefore we can conserve linear momentum along y axis. So straight away, I'm going to apply conservation of linear momentum. Net force on the system along y-axis is zero. So initial momentum should be equal to final momentum. Initial momentum m two v is equal to finally m one two m one plus m two v y. So v y is equal to this is u no sorry. So v y equal to m two u by two m one plus m two. Keep it here. Later on we'll substitute this v y. So what was the question? This tension is asking when they're about to collide. To make you understand, I'm bringing because this again he has put a conditions here. To identical this initial threads. Initially the thread rests on floor the center of the disc in. Disc in a straight line and the threads straight. Means the system rests on friction horizontal floor with the center of the disc in a straight line and the threads straight. Now, so this is a disc of mass m and these what happen? They are very particles. This will be so almost with respect to like a center of this. You can take all v y to be along one straight line. You can assume like that also. Okay, call this equation one. Now. How to get that v x? <coughs> so we'll take the v x. Can apply conservation of mechanical energy. This is what conservation of the new term. Conservation of mechanical energy. What is the net work done by tension? I think we have done problems in work point also. I shown the net work done by tension. In fact, will be zero. So work done by the tension. Net work done by tension on the system be zero. So therefore, initial kinetic energy should be equal to final kinetic energy. So m two u square it should be equal to m two v y square plus two m one v y square plus two m one v x square. Okay, with this, what happen? I'll get v y v y v no, and from this, I'll get the v x so i got v y and v x so how the tension will be <coughs> acting at this point so the tension in fact will be acting here
take like this. He's asking this tension when they're about to collide. Uh, let's take help of the center of mass. Uh, look at the particles, how, how they are moving actually. How, what is the path of the particle? Particle one, particle A and B, how they are moving? They'll move in some plane, no? The M2 will move along Y axis. What about the particle A and B? They'll be moving in a plane. So about the M2, what will happen? These particles A and B, they are going to describe a circular motion. So at this particular instant, you can check it now, about M2. So look at A and B, velocity of M2 is how much? Vy, velocity of particle A and B <coughs> is also Vy. So along Y axis, common velocity there. But along X axis, the disk is not having any velocity here. So therefore, if you stand on the disk and look at the particle A and B, how do the particle A and B are trying, will be moving at this instant, will be moving in a circular path. So what is the acceleration of the disk now? So uh, let, let it be the tension T is acting and how it is acting opposite to velocity. So it must have retardation that put A naught here. I'll, I'll go to the next part of the diagram. Some keen observation saying that there's no any concept only. Then let's take this diagram. Uh, in what direction the pseudo force has to be shown? Hmm. Pseudo force here, acceleration should be A naught, no? Why A naught should be towards? Uh, downward because the tension 2t is acting on the disc opposite to velocity so that is a naught then will you take any pseudo force here yes there'll be also you have to show pseudo force m a naught i think i can i can't increase size huh? uh, similarly any pseudo force on this also m a naught Now, right, so what, what is the condition about disk particles A and B describe curved path, need not to write circle, just write curved path, that is enough. So therefore, now, uh, what is the length of the string? <coughs> so T plus M A naught should be equal to M V X square by L. Is that okay? The equation, but we don't know A naught, no? T plus M A naught. So how to bring A naught? So 2T should be equal to M to A naught on the disk. Of course, it's a retardation. We are only bothered about magnitude. So substitute that value of A naught here in this equation. So how much will I get? T plus, uh, this is M1. Huh? M1, so A naught is how much? 2T by M2, M1 L, Vx square. What is Vx? I think we have to solve it. Equation 1 and 2, we'll get that one. So solving now, this T will be is equal to m1 m2 by l vx square divided by m2 plus 2m1 substitute vx from solving 1 and 2 we'll get the vx I'll, I'll write the answer cross check later on so this will be m1 m2 square u square by l
answer you will get 2 newton okay this is very important you should make keen observation in the ground frame things will not help us in the disk frame the motion of particle will be curved path so we are bringing the idea of circular motion now similarly same 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 problem i am asking i am asking again